What up? Name's Sentry, and I'm here with Stars Toronto. Okay, okay, we got a lovely woman in the building. This is Stars Toronto, and this is Sentry. She's an R&B singer from here, from Toronto, and we're at the Drunken Uncle Tour, Norieka. She's gonna open up. So, girl, tell me a little bit about yourself. How'd you start singing? Uh, I don't know, I was a 90s kid. You saw like Whitney and Mariah and like Mary Jane, all of them on there with their mouth wide open in order to sound <laughs> like them. So I guess I just tried to emulate them until one day I realized like maybe I could write my own songs. And that's about it. Okay, so you write your own music. Mm -hmm. And uh, who are you working with right now as far as producers? Um, to be honest, at this point, it's kind of just like a soul search, just trying to find that perfect fit. There are a few people that I really, really want to work with, but you know, be hush hush because I'm not trying to like be thirsty or nothing. But you oh, know, stop putting it in the universe. Producers are like awesome. So, yeah, I put it in the universe. Anybody who's really trying to like work with a serious RB artist from Toronto, I'll let me. Okay, great. So you're from Toronto and obviously, as you know, there's not like a lot of females on the scene. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think is your biggest obstacle or something that you find being one of the only female artists doing the shows and stuff? Okay, well my only obstacle today really was like I forgot my ID and they put these black X's on my hands. <laughs> I'm not allowed to drink. <laughs> so I don't know how interesting She's this is. Right? They fucking blackballed my ass. I tried to wipe it off. They sent like two of the butchest female security. Oh yeah, we've out. seen them. They're like gonna fight me or they're like, oh no. The girl in the Chung Lee braids is gonna fuck shit up. Now. I swear the one girl looks like a CEO, like she's from a jail. She looked like she wanted to do push-ups in front of me just to show me how tough she was. But yeah, other than that, like the only thing I think for a female artist in any city or whatever trying to do it is like People try to take advantage of your dream, especially if you're cute, like... Right. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, uh, you wanted to fuck me? No. Okay, well, I'm a producer. How about let's make music? Like, okay. And then they don't want to give you your files when you don't give it up. They're like, oh, I'm going to keep these. I drink tea on that one, right? right? Okay. <laughs> Well, that was a great question. I'll tell you, that has many, many answers, faceted answers. And, well, for female or any male artist that doesn't know, like, it is, you know, some females aren't just thirsty. Like, some of them don't just want to twerk and get on or fuck and get on. We actually do enjoy our craft and take it very seriously. Oh, yeah. As you do. Oh, yeah. So, getting into that, for a show like this, no, opening up for Noriega, like, what do you do to prepare your voice and to get into the zone? Um, well, the last show we did was Mob Deep in Oshawa, right? Okay. So, basically, what before that, I mean, two months ago, I had a baby, right? So, my second kid, yeah, I have a daughter. Damn, girl, you look good. Oh, shut up. No stretch marks. I have two. Me neither. High five. Okay, so. <laughs> Cocoa now, butter. See, that's like women, we've, we've, all of us have high five right there. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's like, um, I just did a whole bunch of like shows in the city right before it, right? And just kind of got my songs and even before that, it's like for the last year and a half, I've kind of just been killing these like four or five songs, okay. not really putting anything else out there because I kind of want to be on the hush hush and like make some really dope stuff. Be incognito dope, right? and then just bam. Yeah, like, I mean, I don't want to be Beyonce, but I kind of like that idea of thinking <laughs> no one no one thinks you're up to anything until one second you just kind of like slap them in the face with like a whole year's worth of music so totally. i mean that's definitely what i want to do um so as far as that is there any artist that you would like to work with i mean i know you said you don't want to say the producers names or is there any artist that you have it's not even i don't at? want to say producers names it's just like you know you say one and then you start like rambling on and like a city here for like a year saying and saying all the producers right because like honestly toronto just Ontario in general, like we have some, ins I can't, on like just insane producers. Like I don't know how to Crazy. describe it. But like artist-wise, I mean, I want to work with everybody. I'd love to work with everybody, you know. And I, I want to do features, but I don't want to do features for free, right? So of course, I write my own shit, and I, uh, I think I'm the shit at the same time. So <laughs> if I'm gonna make music for with you, why not pay for it? you? If I if I gotta pay for the studio for myself to make music. I'm not asking you to rap on my track, but you're asking me to sing on your track. So, you know, 
That's what they should do for female artists in the city. You know their worth. It's not like you're like butt ugly too. No, but it's not even that. It's like actual good singers in the city are like hard to find yeah so why wouldn't you give them what they need especially like see like tonight i'm the only singer in general in here at all i know and so it just goes to show that there isn't a lot of us and i'm i would love to work with everybody but it's it's what's good for your own career right of course so i want to make my own music first and then for sure like like i said i'll sell it to Builds you and then when there. you make money off of it i won't call your name I won't be calling you like, motherfucker, you owe me a couple hundred grand, you know. But, yeah, that's what I want to do with artists in general. So, when you ask them that question, because I know I get that as well. When somebody asks me for a feature, I'm like, okay, like, I charge this much, blah, blah, blah. What is the most response you get? Do they want to pay, or are they just snubbing you, like, oh, I'll get back to you, like, what is the response you're getting for the business side of it? Um, at first, it was, like, kind of, <laughs> okay, right, you know what I mean? But then it's like you 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 gotta hold your balls in your hand and be like fuck you, you're going to pay for this. Pay. At the end of the day, you're still gonna come back and see me and still be like, oh, we gotta do something, whatever, whatever. And I'm still sitting here like, okay, yeah, uh huh. Remember when you laughed me the fuck off? All right, right. But you just gotta, like I said, hold your own and just keep pushing it. Cause it's like now at this point, people are like, okay, you know what? I have to respect what she's doing. She's out there. She's killing it in shows. And it's like, I don't stop. I'm relentless. Like, every mm -hmm. weekend I have to have a show to do or else I feel like I'm not You're doing not anything, doing something. right? So, when I think to myself, okay, what are you going to react to? I say, fuck you. If you don't want to pay me, <laughs> then fine. I'm still going to make music. Fuck you, pay me. Right? Or not. No one cares. Just either have fun in my it's life. It's the worst on. when they are hollering at you. And then when you tell but them that's your always, demand. That's, yeah, that's always what it is. It's I'm not always. asking you to rap on my track, but you want to sing it. So, oh, I'll, okay. Right? Or even producers, they want to give you beats. And then all of a sudden when they're like, okay, it's $300 for a beat now. And I'm looking at them like. After you made the track, I know. Right? And you're like looking at them like, really? Like, and, and that's the part also because, you know, we're just coming up and we're just getting out there. We're not famous. We're not millionaires. So it's like. I feel like people want to charge us too much money when they know our situation at hand because they're usually in the same situation. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, but there's always a vulture in every situation. You get like, I want to be a shark one day too. Uh, <laughs> I want to be able to. You play. looking like a shark right now? I mean, I'm working on it, right? So you got to look the part at some point. But yeah, no, it's so true. Because, I mean, it's even. You go to producer the first time as a pretty girl and like they don't know you have a boyfriend and this, that, and you're going there and like. They're saying it's free. They have like a really expensive bottle of liquor on right. the table. It's like pure blunt, ready to roll. You let them know you have a They're boyfriend. They're like freshly all cut You shape. let them know you have a boyfriend and all this shit. The next time you come to the studio, there's like a pack of mall of Paul Malls on the table. <laughs> and like a fucking OE that's half drunk with the bag rolled down and some other girl's lipstick still on it. You like, know. So you got to get used to things. We got to be strong and just say, forget it. I'm going to make good music and one day it's going to be worth something. And that's all you can just have faith. Just constantly wake up and say, it's going to happen. It's, it's going to happen. happen. So what is your biggest single out right now or a few singles that people can go see and where can they find you? Okay, so go to YouTube, type in Century, C-E-N-T-U-R-Y. Almost forgot his name. Don't worry. <laughs> And then just type I'm not in. Even blended yet. Right? I can't even do any. You can't smoke weed here. You can't. I can't drink because I'm fucking. Oh, hang out. with me. We can blaze. Shh. Okay, but yeah. Uh, like I said, just type in Century, and then afterwards type in either Star or Knocked Out the Sun or Pillows. People seem to like that song. Yeah, that's good. Tonight I'll be doing a song called Book Covers. That I don't know. It's not out, out there yet, but I've performed it a million that's times. That's great. And um, the best way to find me is Century Sam on Facebook or Century MCR or go to Century Sam 101 Blunt Rolling Class on Gmail. I already know. Well, I look forward to seeing your show and I'm glad that you did this interview. It's awesome to see females out there in Toronto doing their thing. And we're going to keep actually up with you and see what you're doing in the future. I like it. Okay. Toronto stars, don't know. Blah, stars blah, blah. Toronto, but it's okay. But you know, <laughs> I, hey. I'm Same so thing. focused on not being able to drink, my world is backwards. So, <laughs> Stars Toronto, get it. Ah. And we got Sentry in the building. Holla. Samiru coming up next. What? Okay. Let's